And hello, Irregular Nation. How are we doing? And welcome to another episode of Newsflash, where I like to the jumble the news. You know, a lot of stuff that starts happening throughout the week. I don't want to sit here and make little five-minute videos of everything, you know, so let's just kind of together, right? All right, especially if it's, you know, worth talking about here and there. Um, and I also don't like to talk about the same thing that everybody else is talking about. So I like to give everybody a little something different, you know, uh, another view, a different viewpoint. So anyway, <laughs> as we go, oh, that Zack Snyder, he just continues to keep doing it. He loves honey dicking people, loves it, gets off on it, I think. Um, he just released the nightmare Joker image the other day. And I mean, you know, he gives, you could see, you could see how it's going to be. Let's, uh, let's pull that up for everybody as we jive right into this. Let's get that up there so you can see it. So right there, as I'm going around that with the little mousy moo, as we go around, I mean, it looks, it looks eerie as fuck, to be honest with you. Um, I love how he's holding the Joker card up to hold it up at everybody. Uh, there's been some speculation on, you know, what's going to happen, this, that, the other. Honestly, I don't know why everybody can't just shut the fuck up and just not guess at what's going to happen. Who cares? We're getting it in, you know, what, 40 plus days? Shush. Stop throwing out spoilers or what you think's going to happen. Quiet. Just let this man throw out his little, you know, his little Easter eggs that he loves to do. Because I, I love that he does it. I mean, looking at the image, I know there was tons of people trying to guess what could be going on. You know, it looks like he almost has a glove on, too. He might have one of his joke. I wonder if he has, like, a purple Joker glove on or something. See, there I go. And as you look at it, he kind of, he kind of like, has that, that crow look to it. If anybody saw the first crow, not any of the other ass sequels that they made to that um yeah he looks creepy and you can see he's got long hair and it looks like he's got dark long hair so it could be like he's got like the green has kind of like grown out over time because this is a post this is an apocalyptic world that they live in now um and uh maybe he's got like little streaks of green in it which would be pretty cool you know you want to get if there's one thing that snyder knows how to do he knows how to do his imagery he really knows how to give you that imagery and his imagery tells a story so that's why i say like when i've said uh the man's got a cinematic language that you know no one's gonna touch because I mean, you just can't match it. And then as you see on the left-hand side right here, you see other images of Joker, and that was from the failed Suicide Squad movie that people are still fighting for the air cut of that. Maybe we see that one day. I don't know. I mean, like I also say to people, stop beating dead horses with all these hashtags and let things come organically. Um, the first thing that has to drop is in March on the 18th, and it's going to be Zack Snyder's Justice League. And pending on the reception to that, um, we'll see where they decide to go from there because we all know that there is a quite a divide um, within the Warner Brothers tree. You know, like there's all different branches. So obviously HBO Max and Warner Media, they're directly behind Snyder. As we can go, you know, as we see this Joker image, and we're just going to kind of get out of that for a second because as we're tying into... Mr. Snyder and his Justice League that is coming out. We got official news that, I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of like old news, but it's it's official news now that Justice League is now going to be rated R. And we knew that. Rated R for violence and language. And the one thing we do know, and he's already stated, and I love whoever did this poster, whether it's an, I don't, I know it's not an official poster because we already got our three official posters, but this one, whoever did it, and it looks like it was put out by the cultured nerd. Um, it's really cool. And it's subtle. I like where they put the rated R at the end of uh, Snyder's name right there. Very good. And it has the HBO max thing on it. So I don't know. You could see green lantern in there. You could see Martian Manhunter. It's a sweet shot. 
It's a sweet poster. Whoever put that together, good job. Um, so like you know, here we are now getting the official rating, and you know, I haven't. And one thing I'll tell everybody too is you're going to see a lot of, you know, like I say, old news is new news. A lot of um, sites coming out reporting like this shit just happened. This has been going on for three years. And he announced this over a year ago that the movie was coming out. It was just a matter of like when you're really allowed to say certain things, which is, you know, what I think they call those NDAs or whatever. They give them to the actors. They might give them to the directors too. You can only say so much. You can't be official about it. You can't sit there and say, oh, yeah, it's definitely coming. But we knew this was all happening. We knew it was going to be rated R. You, I mean, we're going to see Steppenwolf's head freaking chopped off. Spoiler, like anybody didn't fucking know that already. Um, but there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And he's dropping a trailer on 214. Now, some people say, no, we don't officially know that. He's dropping a trailer on 214. It only makes sense because that was supposed to be the three-hour, 34-minute cut that we were going to get prior to HBO Max saying, no, 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 we want your full vision because if the 214 cut was still going to be compromised somewhat. So now we're getting the full-on, like, what he wanted to do with his first movie. And let's not forget, this was still a five-story arc. So we're still getting the third installment of it. And, you know, everybody wants, everybody's got that hashtag restore the Snyderverse, but the only way that this puppy gets restored is if it, if it, like I, I keep saying, hits it out of the park, like where, um, people are just streaming the fucking shit out of it. And I emphasize the word F fuck because Batman will drop an F bomb, might drop a few, who knows? We don't know who else is going to be dropping some bombs in this movie. I'm sure a lot of them. I mean, there's some serious stakes, uh, that go on throughout this. So, you know, as you hear me not taking a breath as I'm going throughout this whole freaking thing, um, yeah, that's the only way I feel that the universe gets restored. But then it was funny, as I was on Twitter um, a couple of days ago, I believe it was uh, Krypton Cage put a poll out there. It was pretty cool. Um, saying, where do you think Snyder, like, because Disney Plus gave some director a five-year deal. So us being Snyder fans, and there's tons of Snyder fans, um, would, which, you know, streaming service would he really get the contract from? Honestly, I know HBO Max threw the money they threw at him. I mean, but also let's look at the business sides of this. They need their original content, all that kind of stuff. What better thing to do than to put this man's movie that has had a movement like no other on our network, so people are just like, you know, so you draw in that faction, then you're drawing in the general audience, then you're doing the release to the theater, put it on streaming network same day. I don't know if they're just using it just for that, and then when this is done, they're like, all right, man, you already have your deal with Netflix, because Netflix threw so much money at this guy to do his zombie verse, which I'm so excited for. Everybody, don't forget about Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. That's going to be sick. It's already got an anime prequel to it to show you, to tell you what happens, what caused this pandemic, what caused this zombie apocalypse. So, I mean, come on. In my mind, I honestly think he ends up staying with Netflix, not HBO Max. And maybe Netflix will say, yo, you want to do these characters here? Let's go. I don't know if there's some kind of contractual issue with that when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I don't know. But if not, I mean, HBO Max is... Throw him the money. Let him do what he wants. The guy's going to make you money. He's going to make you money regardless. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait for the Holy Grail to come. And that's, you know, his movie, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And there's many that are behind the same thing. And as we were going toward the, as we we're still in the DCEU here, um, this is a, this might have, I don't know if this was last week or earlier in the week. Everything kind of gets bejumbled together when it comes to all this stuff. So let's go in there. And it was from the movie Birds of Prey. That's still kind of, I mean, it's not really talked about. I saw Birds of Prey. I did not go to the theater to see that because it really didn't have any, I didn't have any interest. Um, and when I watched it, I'm like, all right, the movie tried to have style, but 
it seemed like really all over the place. And then they wasted Ewan McGregor's black mask big time in that. It was just like, oh. But here this lady is, Kathy Ann. She's a director. And she has still been politic and talking about, and just I'll show you real fast. I mean, there's not anything exciting about the picture. I'm about to show everybody here, but as we go right there, that is, oops. Oh, wrong one. Okay. There we go. That's Kathy Ann sitting right there with, oh, not sitting, standing there with Rosie Perez and then uh, Margot Robbie herself, Harley Quinn, who we're going to get us. We're going to see her in suicide squad again, coming up in James Gunn's suicide squad, where I believe they released a synopsis um, kind of figured what that would be. Uh, it's just going to be an all out freaking action movie of craziness. Um, but yeah, she keeps pushing saying that they messed with her movie. Uh, so, you know, ever. And the one thing that was a little bit worrisome when Zack Snyder, you know, like the one thing is like the Zack Snyder, Justice League cut, it's a totally different thing than uh, certain director movies that maybe they pull a couple scenes out and they're just like, you have to put it in this way or they want this, they want that direction. This man's movie was completely sabotaged and thrown in the garbage. So, you know, we, I don't need to jump into those details. Anybody that is watching this is going to know that. Anybody that clicks on to this apparent news flash will see the Zack Snyder stuff and they're going to know all of it already. So, like I've, I've told people in the past, just go and read up on some of that or even by uh, the release of Snyder Cut book that talks about the movement itself and then even has some interview with Zack Snyder. And he, you know, that, that'll be your best bet to really figure some of that stuff out. Um, but honestly, I don't know if there's any kind of Kathy Hand cut or director's cut of this or whatever because they had to bring in the John Wick action choreographer to come in and reshoot scenes so i mean right there that means that things just weren't right with this movie apparently they also said margot robbie was trying to direct it this and that well if you did bad job not good job dear um so i guess she kind of gets to reconcile her character with the james gunn suicide squad because she looks more like harley quinn i mean i couldn't even stand the way they cut the hair in the movie she looked like a, a spaz to me but yeah kathy ann I don't know. I think you should just kind of zip your lips and let it go. No one really cares about seeing the Kathy Ann cut of your Birds of Prey because, honestly, it really wasn't that good of a movie. So, yeah, we can put that one in the garbage and put that one to bed. If there's going to be a director's cut of a Suicide Squad movie that we want to see, it's going to be the air cut. Not your Birds of Prey ass. Sorry. Don't care about it. Um, and and just a little quick Marvel uh, news here for anybody that gives a flying hoo-hoo. Um, what was just shown, nothing that is of excitement really, but we'll show you just to bring it in. There was a couple set photos for Thor, Love, and Thunder. You can see... Chris Pratt, you can see Thor right there, you can see Nebula, and you can see that funny dude that was in Guardians, was he in Guardians 2? Yeah, I think he was in Guardians 2, he was, you know, I didn't really care for Guardians 2, the first one was good. Um, I don't know what to expect of this movie, um, it doesn't look like we have Fat Thor anymore, so I don't know at what point of the timeline, obviously it's after Endgame, but at what point, like, we don't know. Um... Yeah, uh, I don't have any kind of major excitement for this one. Um, I did enjoy, actually, the Thor movies that came prior to that. Uh, but, you know, not 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 much to talk about here. Just the fact that you get to see, you know, you get to see that they're shooting. And then you say, hey, where's everybody's, uh, where's everybody's COVID mask? Nobody's got their COVID masks on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm surprised no one's bitching and moaning about that. You know, the world that we live in right now. Everybody likes to cry. But, hey, yeah, that's pretty much it for that movie. I mean, like I said, there really wasn't much to really talk about with that other than the fact that you got a couple set photos and you see Hemsworth right there looking jacked as always. And I don't know if this is still happening too, but he's apparently supposed to do a Netflix 
series where he plays Hulk Hogan. So I don't know if that's still happening, but I recall seeing that a few years ago about him uh, being the Hulkster, which it'll be pretty good because Hemsworth is funny and he's got some range. I feel. I mean, the guy plays some good characters and he's good in action, by the way. So the guy fits the mold. But anyway, everybody, that is another episode of News Flash. So I want you all to make sure to go hit that like, hit that subscribe, and become a part of the Irregular Nation. Because why wouldn't you want to take a ride on the Irregular side with this freaking nut? Cheers, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.